hear about health and physical activity every day in the media all over the place and yet sometimes because of the hard realities of budgets at the end of the day physical education is often on the cutting block. I think the biggest challenge is getting our kids in quality physical education every single day and in doing that get obtain data that really means something. When I go to the state house state uh, reps and senators always ask me I need, I need numbers, Maria. I need data, and I don't have it. Things have changed, our kids have changed, and data helps us make good decisions going forward between how engagement with the physical is actually promoting uh, growth in the academic, and that these are not two separate silos, but we are one full integrated body, and without understanding and promoting physical movement throughout the day, where there's, we don't have the opportunity to also promote academic growth. A year ago, um, IHT, um, was presenting at a national conference and um, I knew in Massachusetts that we needed a clearinghouse for data collection and I knew that their software was, was definitely the answer. Physical education with the academics, with all of this data collection that we're doing and using the software and on our way to having a clearinghouse for all 351 school districts. This is going to simplify my job 100%. This is the brain research in action. This is showing why physical activity and academics matter so much. At the end of the day, I hope to get this out to superintendents, teachers, parents, and people that do not understand how physical education it has such an impact on children for learning better and enhancing the academics. And that's what we hope to, to bring about in the next few years.